Do you long for soft, chewy, and delicious chocolate chip cookies, but you're on keto and you think they're forbidden? <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. We're going for a ride. First thing you'll need is five tablespoons of butter and one tablespoon of cream cheese. Microwave for about 40 seconds until soft, and then whisk or blend until those two gorgeous fats meld into one silky blend. Add an egg, AKA Mother Nature's Nutrient Bomb, two tablespoons of heavy cream. My God, I love heavy cream. And for a touch of subtlety and finesse, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Please don't use imitation extract. Keto is all about appreciating real flavors. And frankly, anyone brave enough to give up sugar deserves the best. After mixing the wet ingredients, set them aside. It's time we turn our attention to the dry ingredients. First up, six tablespoons of coconut flour. Next is your favorite sweetener. For baking purposes, I like pure cane. For the next step, you wanna add one heaping tablespoon of powdered beef gelatin. Listen up, gelatin is 100% necessary for this recipe to work. It doesn't have to be beef, but it must be an animal-derived gelatin. And we're back with a teaspoon of baking powder. Once they're combined, you can go ahead and mix all your dry ingredients. It's super important that you keep this mix dry. Otherwise, you're gonna get stuck with little lumps of jello in your cookies. And now for the moment of truth. When combining your wet and dry ingredients, take your time slowly adding the wet mix into the dry batter. I screwed this step up on my first batch, and while it wasn't the end of the world, they definitely came out unintentionally chunky. Once blended, we're gonna add a half a cup of chopped walnuts and half a cup of sugar-free chocolate chips. My neighbor's mom, Tina, used to put chopped walnuts in her chocolate chip cookies. They were amazing, and she was amazing, and so I'm dedicating this recipe to her memory. Okay. While you shape your cookies, you should be preheating the oven at 350 degrees. If you're not using a non-stick cookie sheet, parchment paper will do the trick. This recipe is as easy as it is versatile. You could easily throw in a couple tablespoons of cocoa powder and switch out the chocolate chips for white chocolate chips for inside out cookies. How would you modify this recipe? Tell me about it in the comments below. Let's get these babies in the oven. These will bake at 350 degrees for 17 minutes. Ugh, I know that's gonna feel like forever. Hey, since you're waiting, you can hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. At last. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Tina's Keto Chocolate Chip Cookies. Let them rest for at least 15 minutes, and then they're all yours. Cheers, Buttercup. Kid tested, keto approved. Did you enjoy this video? Leave a comment, or better yet, tell your friends. Keto Crush. Eat healthy. Look hot.